Dmitry Medvedev goes on emotional rampage about the West. Dmitry Medvedev's aggressive posts on social media in which he used politically incorrect vocabulary to express hatred of the West caused mixed reactions. Wow, and this guy's different. He's the former president. He was the prime minister, and he's next in line to be president again if something happens to Putin. He is a deputy chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation and heads of the United Russia Party. And here was his words. I hate them Westerners. They are bastards and degenerates. They want us Russia dead. As long as I live, I will do my best to make them disappear. Medvedev wrote on his Telegram channel. This hatred is disgusting and irrational. Yet, this does not mean that we should put up with it. We just need to draw all necessary conclusions for the future. We need to keep this attitude towards us in mind. And we shall not forgive those who hate us. Never. I really don't like the turn that this is taking. My man Dimitri expressing his uh, hatred that he has for Western society and for Western people. And his determination to see America being wiped off the face of the earth. I want to start this lesson off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayafta Wadah, the house of David. The video you just saw was uh, Dimitri, basically, second in command. You know, you, you see what the brother just uh, said, you know. Um, letting the world know how he feels about what's going on. And being an head of security, you're the head of, of, of your people's safety. And to have to get these debriefings and watch what's going on, what's being played out in the world. As far as America's meddling, sending weapons, fighting a proxy war. This has to infuriate you. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28. They be spirits that are created for vengeance, and in their fury lay out sore strokes, and in a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease, and appease the wrath of him that made them. Considering that we living in the last days is evident to anybody, you know, what a few brain cells left. Um, that, you know, this, this being such a top diplomat, all right, in the, in the Russian Federation, if the Heavenly Father has set his energy, his spirit, his vibe to being cohesive, what? Met of the Lord, start with the head apostles have been telling the world for a long time that ultimately Russia is going to destroy America. All right, Russia is going to destroy America, and this spirit was created for vengeance. And when you look at this uh, missile, whom the, the West has dubbed Satan, uh, too, you know. Looking at the end of your sorrows, you know, the end of a captivity, the end of your bitterness, because when you break down America, um, that's what it goes into. All right, bitterness, America being the land of our captivity. All right, and just like an old tool, when you're done using it, you know, you break it. America was that tool set up and designed serve as a prison house all right for the land uh, for the children of Israel all right to be the land of our captivity all right and not that the heavenly father is done with this place he's going to destroy it and wipe it off of the face of the earth all right now this lesson won't be too much about how or why America needs to be destroyed there are plenty of videos plenty of plenty of exposés documentaries um, on YouTube, Netflix, <laughs> especially what the uh, uh, brothers have, have, have pushed out concerning the wickedness, whistleblowers, uh, Julian Assages of the world, uh, WikiLeaks, the Todd Jones, plenty of insiders, friends of 
uh, elite bankers who have exposed, you know, the, the complete filthiness, even, even going to the uh, heads of the CIAs, heads of Secretary of States, you know, the Bush himself, you know, this, this, so this is not going to be on necessarily why it's going to be destroyed, but more so like a, um, letting the world know, you know, that the Holy Bible is true, it's faithful and true, you know, all these things were written for our learning, you know, to be a guide on how to navigate in these last days, a blueprint, a roadmap to what will be going on. All right, and this is this is truth. This is proof that the Bible is alive. You know, the Bible is alive. It's a living book. It's a living organism. It's not dead. I just wanted to go to the Book of Revelation real quick. We've been bringing this scripture out a lot. <clears throat> In the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. Uh, this is Revelation 17 and 16. These shall hate the whore and make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Now these ten horns are talking about uh, these European nations. All right. America rides on the back of NATO and on the back of the EU. All right. So in particular, this scripture right here Russia's not a part of that, all right? But you see France, all right? You see Germany, they have a secret uh, hatred for America. They can't stand America. They can't stand the arrogancy. They can't stand the, the handcuffing. They can't stand the bossing around. They can't stand the dollar system that's set up. They really despise this place, all right? So when Dimitri, <coughs> when Dimitri talks about how much he uh, hates America, you know, that's a spirit, all right, that was uh, put upon him by the Heavenly Father. To do what? To fulfill the will of the Heavenly Father, which is ultimately to do what? To burn her with fire. All right? To burn her with fire. So this is, this is what this is all about. This is what our ministry is about. You know, well, what do we do? You you repent. You leave off from your sins. You know? Thus admitting, you know, you, you need mercy. Alright? Admitting you need mercy. You need salvation. You need deliverance. Out of the destruction that is to come. These devils are getting ready, all right, <coughs> to, do two, to do two major things, all right? That is to set up the RFID microchip, all right, which is indeed the MOTB, the mark of the beast that the scriptures talk about, that the prophet John, the revelator, was revealed to, all right? A system set up by the same of beasts, all right, that will be destroyed, the whole will be destroyed, all right, by the ten uh, horns and alongside Russia and the other uh, nations that align with her. And the Lord Yahweh will get the mercy, uh, the, the, the mercy, he'll get the, he'll receive the glory and honor of taking down all those nations. And that's the way the story was written out. And this is what's being uh, played out. So, so that, all right. And the Third World War. And in between those, you have events that were also written about that by default must take place, like a famine. Once the Third World hit, you know, a famine is, is, is automatic, you know, and that's death, that's destruction. You know, in a, in a world with bio lags, that, those are plague, uh, pestilence that are, gonna, that are gonna come to the earth. The chaos that was spoken about, the, uh, uh, the lack of trust for anybody in power, Governors, mayors, CIA, FBI agents. All right? So people are not going to disregard anything once the society breaks down. Okay? And we're in the midst of these devils getting ready to get inside underground bunkers as they heat this thing up. Because 
you know, hey, the, the international bank is starting with the Rothschild family. They jump two feet in. You know, when you when you when you when you put fifty uh, billion dollars into something, you want to get a return on the investment on on your investment without a question. All right, so the money being poured in into Russia, uh, into the Ukraine to fight Russia, you know, there's no stopping in sight, and we know because it's biblical prophecy. Um, so let's 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 do this. Let's do. Revelation chapter 16. We start at 14. For they are spirits of devils working miracles which go forth to the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day. Now that spirit of, of falsehood is, is being, uh, propaganda is being pushed so hard. What they call it, the war drums are being pushed so hard. Gotta save Ukraine. It's on Facebook. You know, you see the Ukrainian flags, the atrocities that's being committed. We gotta, we gotta fund, we gotta fight, we gotta supply, we gotta arm, we gotta get ready. Those are the spirits of devils, man, that's lying to the people as to what's going on. There's a whole story, a whole backdrop to it, you know. You can find shows on that as well. But the point is, you know, the, 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 these spirits are going around to these kings of the earth and really rallying them up. They're really India's testing ICBMs. All right, North Korea is testing ICBMs. Iran and the military drills are happening all over the earth. All right, which go forth to the kings of the earth, to the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the great day of the Most High Almighty. So everybody's getting ready to be riled up. Verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and I see his shame. Now, this is where the repentance comes into play. You know, keep your garment white, keep it pure, tahar, in the Lashawan Kadash. So when the Lord comes back, you're looking for virgins, not physical virgins, but people that were, you know, clean to the best of their ability. They was watching, they was waiting, they were prophesying, they were working. All right? Your shame is your transgression, your, your lewdness, your filthiness, your, your lack of unfaith, your lack of faith. All right, he gathered them together in a place called in the Hebrew tongue, I'm a God, I'm a God one. All right. And the seventh angel poured out his veil into the air and there came out a great voice out of the temple from heaven saying the throne, saying it is done. What is done? All right. Not life in an existence, but the ending of this world, as is written. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That's uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 9. This world, this world is done. It's wiped out. It's clean. Dissolved. Alright? And then there will be a new slate. The earth will be refreshed. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 5. For this they are willingly ignorant. That by the word of the Most High, the heavens of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of ungodly men. Everything is being preserved, all right, for the thermonuclear missiles, all right? Everything is being preserved for that fire. Esau had to come here and build so that Yahweh could throw down. And this is what's taking place on earth. Um, let's get the book of Micah just because I said that. Micah 1 and 4, where Edom said, if we are impoverished and we will return and build the desolate places, thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath in the nation forever. So Babylon is the, is the, has a bullseye on her back. 
You know, everybody's going to zone in on Babylon. And this place will be destroyed. The, the weapons of his indignation are already in those silos waiting to get the green light. That glittering spear. <clears throat> and who could be able to stand that day? You know? Who could be able to stand? Who, whose skin is thermal, uh, nuclear proof? In the day of judgment, everybody's going to give accountability for their works that they've done on the earth. And that's whether you believe it or if you don't. If you're an atheist, if you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, the whole world is going to understand who's been in control this whole time. All right? So our message is clear. It's not one of our own. Definitely through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. That judgment is coming to the earth. All the signs are before us. And the Lord is not playing, man. There's some really bad, bad, bad times that are about to hit this earth. All right? To the likes of such things that have never been but seen before, ever, ever, and you could you could tell that through tra trajectory, just by simply opening your eyes and realizing something ain't right, man. And everything that could possibly go bad is getting ready to do do just that. It's getting ready to go. It's really getting ready to be really bad. All right. Daniel chapter twelve. Verse 1, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which stand before the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that end, uh, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And this is a uh, this is a, 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 a final prophecy of, of the it, the climax of the movie. When things get really bad, is the is the is the is the, is the, is the, is the time for the superhero. To, to shine You know Yahweh Shai is getting ready to shine Yahweh Shai is getting ready To take back the earth That was given to him From his father That earth he was inheriting Alright And the true men of the Lord Are Are, are, are supposed to be Alright No not supposed to They are Paving the way For our great king Alright True men of the Lord Are paving the way For our great king that he may come back and take power and King David can sit back on the throne like was promised him, that everlasting throne. All right? And the elect underneath them. But this world rejects um, monarchies. Monarchy. They, they reject, you know, kingship. They look down on that. You know, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be a democratic republic. You know, democracy. You know, you gotta vote, which goes back to mob rule. And when you got a nation full of idiots, if the majority of the nation are idiots, you know, what, what good is your goddamn democracy? It's trash. They'll call you a dictator. Well, what do you think your Howard is going to be doing? He's going to be dictating. Okay? He's going to be ruling with a rod of iron. All right? And his men underneath him. All right? His men underneath him will be ruling. Okay? So... That, that's in direct contrast to that's in direct contrast to um, the, the system uh, the powers to be of this world why because they don't like that you know because they don't like that so and then and then the very, very fabric of what America is make up, you know, the, the our constitution is the basically the fabric and the backbone of what you stand for. All right, the first the uh, the uh, freedom of speech. There were, there were one, Article One, freedom of speech. There will be no freedom of speech in the kingdom because there's thing there's such things called blasphemy. 
All right, and and if you blaspheme the names of the heavenly Father, your ass is gonna be put to death. And then you have the uh, uh, a right to bear arms, which it tells you in the book of Ezekiel that this is the war to end all wars, and eventually all the weapons will be burnt up. So how how, how if Yahweh Shai came to the earth, how you think Americans will feel about him snatching away their constitutional rights to bear arms? They'll have a field day, which proves they're nothing but a nation of damn devils anyway. That's the seed of, of Esau, which was given the sword, you know, as a blessing. All right, to rule the earth. Okay? So we're to bear our bad news to you uh, so-called Christians and Americans and rednecks and patriots, all right, and coons who want to see the so-called white man destroy the earth. Ultimately, that's what you want to. That's what you want to do when, uh, uh, when you when you put this man in power, you put him over you. You want to continue to have him reign. You want to continue to have oil spills and eat fake foods and you know just die of diseases that he's created. You you chose death. That's why Moses said, "Choose you this day, life or death." And when you choose the right path, you're choosing life. All right. But anything else outside of that is death. And ultimately, that's what's happening right now: the death of the West. And it's going to bring about the death of America. And it's going to bring about the death of ending the wickedness. All right? So with that, I hope and pray that that was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders and the apostles. Peace, love, and say Jesus. Shalom. Abba, Abba.